Hello traders, FS Collector here. Today is Monday, November 18th, and we're going to be analyzing gold starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But also, don't forget to check out my website, fxpipcollector.com, if you would like to get access to my swing trade setups, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course are included for only $30 per month. So anyways, on gold, I still think it's extremely clear that this is a 1, 2, 3. I think we are very likely in a wave 4 right now, which will most likely make some sort of a 3-way pattern to the downside, maybe to like the 38%, before we end up going up for the bigger wave 5. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, this is where you can kind of make out the subdivisions a little bit. We got the wave 1, we got the wave 2, and this is all subdivisions of a wave 3. We do have a break of structure right there, which tells us that the wave three probably is over and that we are very very likely now in a wave four i would expect the wave four on the time scale to take around the same time that the wave two took so we're probably looking at at least several months of corrective action for a wave four probably overlapping overlapping corrective waves probably eventually making its way down to the 38 percent before we actually go up and make that bigger wave five so taking it down to the daily time frame, I think we are very clearly only in a wave A right now. It kind of looks like it could be a wave 3 too, like 1, 2, 3. Maybe we're currently in a wave 4 and then eventually make a wave 5 and then turn back up and make the correction for the wave B. So this would be the A, that would be the B, and eventually you would probably make another 5 wave downtrend for a C. And this is all a wave 4 on the much, much higher time frames. So let's take it down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, the trend is definitely still down right now, and until we get a break of sorts to the upside, we should primarily be looking for sorts. I would be looking for 3 waves up and be looking for Fibonacci bounces to go sort again, potentially for the continuation of the downtrend. So let's take it all the way down to the 1 hour time frame. So on the 1 hour time frame, if price does decide to go up and break this structure, then I would definitely start looking for logs at the end of pullbacks. But until that happens, I am definitely still on the short side. I'm looking at any move I see to the upside as possibly nothing more than a crescent to the last move down, the last impulsive move down. So we got our Fibonacci retracement on the last impulsive down. I'm looking for three waves up. I'm looking for Fibonacci bounces. And I'm looking for more entries to go sort. Unless it breaks starts to the upside, I'm definitely looking for sorts at the end of three-way pullbacks, Fibonacci bounces, impulsive moves to the downside. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked over here in the corner, and as always, thank you and happy trading.